How was it cold today? That's crazy. It's cold. It's 64 degrees. The hell is going on? Shit. It's a little chilly. All right. Um, good morning. It's 11.17 in the morning. I've been working on videos all morning and trying to assess plumbing at my house and figuring out the best plan of action. So right now... I'm supposed to be going to get the power snake that can bore through tree roots in plumbing, which is crazy to think there's certain snakes that, uh, power snakes that say specifically not for breaking through tree roots. And then there's ones that say that they are. So the one that says that it is, is $64 for four hours but you got to imagine if you use that to break through a tree root what is that going to do to your freaking terracotta plumbing holy shit probably nothing good so i need to go get that the plumber from yesterday is supposed to come back over tomorrow at 275 an hour to do this i could very easily do this myself $5,800 for the water line replacement that they quoted us. We asked if they accept, if they do payment plans, and they said that they don't. So that sucks. I uh, no need to put my seatbelt on right this second. I'm literally going to the P.O. box. Hey, let's go to the P.O. box. It's our first time going there. I haven't really been pushing the P.O. box at all. Think we'll have anything i'm gonna err on the side of no oh we got something what did we get mailbox mail pickup notice we got a package huh i can't remember the last time that i got a pa actually what is this sounds like What do you think that is? What is that? It says Ty is who sent this to us. Let's see what this is. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous that this might be. Well, how about that? It's actually something that's pretty nice. So we got a little letter right here, handwritten letters in 2024. Joe, I seen this at the store and it made me think of you from Ty, an APS fan. Dude, shout out to you, Ty. This is special right here. Check this out. Ugh. Look at that. Well, how about that? We got the Cup of Noodles Campfire S'mores. Ramen noodles in sauce. Okay. Ty, I appreciate that, man. That actually just put a little smile on my face. I'll probably be eating nothing short of that if I have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on this freaking plumbing repair, which is crazy. I got no gas in my truck. Ty, shout out to you, man. That was pretty cool right there, man. We're going to eat that. We're going to see what that shit's hitting on. All right, so what do you do when you get a $5,800 quote to fix your plumbing? And that's only one little small. I mean, I don't want to say it's small, but it's one little part to a bigger part. What do you do when you receive a $5,800 quote and you can't afford that shit? You got to take matters into your own hands. So here's the crazy thing. The repair that they did last night, which again is pretty much what I was doing. They just did it better and it worked when they did it and it didn't work when I did it. That was $350 plus I, I paid them $400. I mean, they came out at 7 o'clock at night and I gave them a $50 tip. All right, so here's the deal. We can get the power auger. We could bore through the bullshit. We do that. 
If we could clear the blockage, we gotta go get the power auger. The power snake, I mean. All right, let's go to Home Depot and see how much of a task this is about to be. All right, so we're in the tool rental section at Home Depot. Shout out to the fine folks up in here. And uh, here's what we're about to get. How heavy is one of these? Uh, pretty darn. Uh, probably about, I mean, we're going to help you here. Okay, perfect. Load, but I would say on the order of this is probably about uh, 80, 90 pounds. Oh, yeah. Like that. Cool. So, yeah. I mean, what, what type of vehicle do you have? I got a, uh, yeah, I got a truck out there. Okay, no problem. We've got the snake, the electric snake. Uh, shout out to the fine folks over there at Home Depot. Chris and the other guy in there, they're awesome. They're going to be checking out the video. And they even gave me a free pair of gloves. How about that? They gave me a rundown on how to use this thing. Uh, oh, wow. You got the glass packs on the F-150. It's lunchtime. And we're having a... We're having a day of it at the job site. Sorry there, old man. I don't want to hit your nice truck. All right, so anyways, hey, shout out to the fine folks over there at the Home Depot with the rental section, man. They gave me a quick rundown on how to use this thing. And my main concern is the root edge inside of this terracotta pipe and not wanting to destroy that. Hoping that we don't. There's no real easy way to get back to the house, so I guess I'm just going to go back the way that I came. Uh, but they were great. Uh, this electric snake has multiple different tips on it. Saw tips and all sorts of shit that should be helpful. And we're going to take it very easy trying to saw through this shit and, and break through this blockage. And if we can break through the blockage and get to the other side because we know the other side is clear that's that's one half of this big ass problem that we've got right now and again the other half is the water line and right now I mean the water line is not leaking how long can this band-aid last $5,800 is the price that we've gotten for this so far, and $5,800 I just don't got. They don't take payment plans. They want you to go take out a loan to pay this. Like, that's crazy. We got another plumber coming out talking about it's, you know, a discount for cash. Of course it is. You ain't got to gotta tax that. But, you know, when you're talking thousands of dollars, I just don't know, man. I just don't know. There's got to be a better band-aid, I guess is what I'm thinking here. And that's what we're going to be hoping for. But ultimately, it needs to be replaced. All right. Sorry about that. The uh, Another plumber was just calling me. He's at the house right now. And he wanted to know a little more information on what we had going on. And I asked him what his thoughts are, best plan of attack. And he wanted to wait for me to get there because he wanted to talk about this in person, which lets you know people don't like talking crazy numbers over the phone. Anyways, let's hurry up and get back to the house. He's going to see us pulling up with this power snake, so he's going to know that we mean business. And um, let's see what he's talking about. All right, we've got the power snake out. You can see us down in the line. And here's the thing. Uh, we went through this hole first. And power snake is back there ready to go. So I kind of walked with it watching it from right here. And I feel like we're down there. And we're not feeling the blockage like we should be. But we're getting ready to start spinning. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin a little bit, back it up, spin a little bit, back it up, spin a little bit, back it up. And we're going to do that back and forth at least once or twice to see if we can try to find where the hell this damn blockage is. That way? I feel like we're down there. We might need to go a little bit more. We'll figure it out. Um, we're also waiting on the plumber to give us a quote. But he's here now. So we'll see.
Literally, Joe does shit. <laughs> I was just hearing something. Yeah, I heard gargling. I'm waiting for water. To see if it backs up this way? Well, that and to see if it starts leaking out from underneath of here because we do got a little bit more water coming down here now, but ain't no telling where that's coming from. Is it coming from this repair? Who the hell knows? All right, we just got done spraying off the machine all clean and we did it one more time we ran the machine one more time with the hose down there um, and we went all the way down and just pulled it back six inches at a time and we're hitting that thing and sometimes you could hear the thing making noise sometimes you couldn't and i feel like when you couldn't hear it making noise maybe it was clearing so who the hell knows uh, i need to figure out something to do with these damn holes and i'm still waiting on these guys to give me this quote so by taking this long, I got to imagine it's probably not going to be good. All right, leaving from the rental section of Home Depot. And there's some guy who had rented some Titan 440 paint sprayers. I'm like, damn, man, I didn't even know they, they did that. I wonder if that's a good deal or not. Like, do they keep up with those paint sprayers? Do they keep the, tip, the tips fresh and the, the filters changed and... The pump's good. I gotta imagine they probably don't. So yeah, shout out to the Home Depot uh, rental department. Yeah, them guys in there and gals, man, good knowledgeable folks, always trying to help people. And man, the equipment in there, man, just gets ran to shit. I remember when I was doing landscape and going and getting those skid steers and hearing the horror stories about people putting gasoline in a diesel skid steer motor. Couldn't even imagine. But I still haven't received the quote from the second plumber that came by the house. And for that, that kind of sucks. I, I got to stop and get gas. I can't. I can't try to make it any further. Hey, look, another painter right in front of me. How about that? hilarious small world so i just got gas and when i pulled up i was like oh shit that looks like a painter right there i saw this truck parked in front of me sure shit it was a guy that used to work with me and um he's doing good he's got his own thing going on painting so he's doing a lot of commercial work and good for him man it is a tough tough business i said you know i learned uh apartments man it's a no-win situation right there ain't enough money in it yeah but shout out to him man it was good to see him see that he's doing well he's doing a lot of shit man good for him that's inspiring right there you know he was a guy that had his own business and who came to work with me and what was interesting about him specifically and i'll never forget this was another guy told me who worked with me as well during the same time as this guy he said joe you're never going to be able to work a guy who's had his own business. He's like, that guy's just never gonna work out well for you or work for you. I didn't understand him telling me that at first, but here's the ironic thing about him telling me that. 
that guy, not the guy that I just saw, but the guy that said that to me would actually end up and go start his own competing apartment painting business, which he was absolutely right, you know? Painting is tough, man, because not only is it that everybody thinks that they can do it, not only is it that everybody thinks that they can do it, and don't get me wrong, a lot of people can do it, and the people that can do it, gonna go start their own business. I didn't, I didn't get anything to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. I did get this nice ramen soup. I'm about to eat this thing cowboy style right now. Just eat it raw dog out of the cup. I know there's some marshmallows in here. I wonder what the, I wonder what it tastes like. It smells like graham, like graham crackers. It smells damn good, but I, I think anything would smell good to me right this second. As hungry as I am. Well, today I feel no further toward a solution than I did when today started. Now, we've put a second set of eyes on this situation. We've done something that we were going to have another plumber come do tomorrow where they were going to charge me $275 an hour to do it, and we did that for a total of $70. Not to mention what I'm paying my guy to be working with me right now helping me out around the house uh, we've been doing a lot of shit a lot of wood repairs and really trying to start working on my house but that's going to be uh short-lived if i mean that's going to be short-lived because i just don't got the money to keep doing that at all especially with what this plumbing is getting ready to cost it's gonna get real that's for sure but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get back to the house because my babysitter's got to get ready to leave and share more with y'all when I get this quote. Friday morning. Standing in front of my neighbor's house. That's my neighbor's car. Right there. Their car got hit really bad last night. Doesn't look like anything new on my truck. But this is an unbelievable situation that I've got no idea what the hell this is. So I noticed the first thing when I saw it all Right there, the splatter effect. Looks like it comes from here and then it shoots to their car. Do this. All right, so still investigating this situation and I still have this shit on my truck from the very first attack and the second attack, whether we're talking about a bird or a person here, still trying to figure that out. But I'm gonna get all crazy on y'all real quick and I want y'all to keep this in mind. So when I first saw this, there was a lot of splatter in the street when it hit my truck the very first time. Now, when you look at this, you can see that these heavy globs hit and they're dripping down, which almost makes me feel like the reason why we're not seeing this is because it is a bird that's doing this. Now, real quick, let me show you my neighbor's car that got absolutely annihilated last night. All right, here's the street side of their car and the roof of their car, windshield, everything. I hate to be filming my neighbor's car like this. They don't really like me, but okay, that part of it, and then boom. It carries on here, carries on here, carries on here, up their front steps, right there. Yeah, that really looked like bird shit right there, huh? 
Yeah, I know this is gonna sound crazy to y'all what I'm about to say, but I swear to God, I feel like this is a drone. This attack is definitely coming from the sky, hence the fact that I'm not seeing this on camera. And maybe that's why everybody keeps telling me bird, 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 bird migration patterns. If my, tar if my truck was the target, how did they hit the neighbor? This is crazy. Did they miss? Or was that deliberate? Because that was a direct hit on my neighbor's car. I feel like that was meant for me though. Chili, it was chilly out this morning, boy. All right, we're getting ready to start digging some more. I mean, why not? I feel like we're right here in it. So we're gonna come back to here and I think we are gonna get down to the root of the problem. No pun intended. Sucky thing about this is we're running out of places to put dirt. I haven't even showed you my backyard where all the dirt is at. We got a nice little pile on a tarp, but we can't get the wheelbarrow no closer than that. So we gotta fill up buckets. Let's go. All right, we're digging. So here we are. We're digging right here and I think we're getting uh we're getting close. Trying to be extra careful of that water line that's been repaired right there. Trying to be extra careful, but look, look at what we just stumbled upon right here. Now look at these roots and how thick that these are. Why would roots grow so thick? Well obviously you've got bushes right here, so that would be part of it. But look at what we just <laughs> uncovered. Folks, that's a piece of the terracotta sewer line and we just dug that up from right there them roots are going straight down and that plumbing is running right down there still haven't received a quote from this other plumber and my wife was on the phone with them this morning they're saying it could take two weeks to get a quote ain't nobody got time for that we gotta get this shit done so let's get to it I got a feeling once we find the plumbing here, and the crazy thing is, is we're not getting the smell, okay? No smell, uh, no evidence that we're getting close except for that broken piece of plumbing. All we can do at this point is just keep on digging down, taking buckets, filling up a wheelbarrow, keeling over. All right, breaking news, we're doing stuff. All right, we are, to the fun stuff now, folks. Let me show you where we're at. So check this out. We have reached, there's our water line repair over there. This is all new digging this morning. There's the water line where it comes into the house at. And we can see concrete right underneath the gray pipe right there. And you're about to sleep, you're about to see. Where's that little shovel at? A uh, little shovel it's right there. There's our bucket. You're about to see straight dookie. <laughs> Dookie goodness coming out. We found, we found a point where we got some issues going on. There's a root coming right up through that bridge too. Is there? I'd like to see that thing just spew water. No, I would not. Well, we cleared the line, Gene, so I think we did justice yesterday getting that. Yeah, getting that thing. Now here's the other thing I need you guys to keep in mind. There is where the city connected into the new plumbing app. Oh yeah, there's shit falling all out of there. <clears throat> we, got, we had to hit some hard ass clay though by it though. That's what sucks. Well that's what the hammer's gonna come in handy for. Boy, we got Christopher Columbus's doo-doo down here. <laughs> that's how old this shit is. All right, update. We're getting ready to remove this right here and it's gonna be a nasty, nasty situation. So we've got a piece of concrete over our drain line right here at this coupling. And we've dug as far, we're trying to get underneath of it, but we also <laughs> gotta keep in mind we are right here. Now we got this water here I don't know where this is coming from. It's not coming from the water line. I'm trying to excavate the water line too, but that is a very delicate process. And what we're assuming and hoping is, here's our coupling for our new plumbing 
that also leads to this clean out right here. We do have a clean out at the house. So the other plumber that came on Friday, $400 to remove the toilet, said, said he couldn't find our outside clean out, dude. It was literally as soon as you, it lit, like literally right there. Anyways, what are they paying these guys? All right, anyways, Gene, do the honors. Hold that. And I'll let you not have to have your nose right here. So we've excavated quite a bit right here to where this is ready to come off. We thought that this went underneath of the power. It does not. It's right here. When I pull this off, we're going to see, we're going to see Christopher Columbus's doo-doo right here. All right, let's see what we got. Are you kidding me? What? It's literally just that little itty bitty hole. Can you see that? That's what that was covering. No. -uh. Yeah. All that concrete. For that little hole. For that little hole. Oh, wow. Now, yesterday's plumber told us that these holes in this terracotta are what they used to refer to as windows because they didn't know where the issues were at because maybe they didn't have clean outs or some shit. But, um, dude, I mean, right here, it looks freaking pretty freaking pristine. Uh -huh. So... Hey, your wife's texting and call her. All right, let me up. Uh... Well, I gotta be honest, this is the day that just keeps on giving. So, uh, my wife had to leave for work and my babysitter was gonna be taking my son somewhere and my wife took the car seat out of her car and left it on the curb for the babysitter to put in her car. And unfortunately, it was trash day today, so the trash people came and threw away my son's freaking car seat bird shit on the neighbor's car or a drone troll attack um got the car seat accidentally thrown away got the quote from the other plumbing company uh just a little bit ago seventy nine hundred dollars seventy eight hundred dollars something like that to replace 20 feet of water line and 20 feet of sewer line which we're damn near to the sewer right now, so maybe we could take care of that. And hey, if we could just get them to do the water line, that would be great. How much would that be? How much would that be? No discount for the fact that we've dug this shit up ourselves. Maybe that is the discount because we have dug this up. Maybe it was originally going to be $12,000. Who the hell knows? Um, basically, what they're going to end up doing, what they would end up doing for the water line is there's the water meter. They would... Uh, trench down and then bore straight through pop out right here tie into the they wouldn't even tie in right there they would go right up underneath of the house and tie into the plumbing that way the water line is not buried and it's up under the house instead uh, which is pretty good uh, definitely want to utilize these folks for the water line at the very least and uh, I think the last thing that we shared was that we just removed this piece of concrete and we got that little hole right there. Now, we got another piece of concrete right there. I think we're going to go ahead and try to replace this piece right here ourselves. I mean, why not, right? The way my day's going, hey, why not? Um, look what I found too, by the way. I've got one of those little camera systems. So I want to try to put it in right there in that hole and look right there and see what we see. Hmm. All right, shout out to my little cheap camera system hey if you're interested in getting one of those yourself i'll leave a link down below joe needs all the affiliates and sponsorships he can get at this point for these prices so what we were able to see is the big issue is literally right here at the next concrete spot that's where it is and all we got to do is get to that yeah so so what are you going to excavate Yep, that's the area that needs the attention. We can go ahead and cover this guy back up for the time being because that guy is good to go. We know we don't got no issues right there because that's where the new stuff is. We've seen that. I even seen the root that was coming through and we've even broken through the root 
But I just, I know it's right here. It's right here. And we just gotta get it. Right there. All right, folks. Shit's about to get real. Mm -hmm. So our first plumber just showed back over up over here. Shout out to them, they're cool. Uh, they're watching the video, so good deal there. But look, here's the deal. There it is, right there, look at that. Look at that nice blockage right there. That's crazy. That's it. We got to it, folks. That's where that water's coming from. It's building up over there too. Uh, so what we're getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to go to the plumbing store and we're getting ready to try to replace this from right here all the way back. All the way back to right here, which is crazy because we need to get to the next joint and it's broken at the joint here. So we're broken right there at that joint. If we can get to the next joint back, that would be great. Oh, this is about to be crazy. We're gonna have a 20 foot section of freaking four inch pipe that we're gonna be trying to feed up under a water line. Oh boy, this is gonna be crazy. But getting back to the plumber that showed up over here, talking about the water line, replacing the water line. Um, he said, if we dig it, he'll that charges time and materials. Now, again, we got to dig up the street, but it only has to be down 18 inches, he said. So we dig down, we bore through right here, and then I got my little line right there, and then boom. I mean, the water line, hooking the water line up ain't gonna be shit. But we gotta get the plumbing done first, because right now we currently have zero freaking plumbing. <laughs> you bust it totally, it's gonna pile up right there. Yeah. <clears throat> 20 foot of four inch. And here's what we're doing. You can see we've already started getting it busted up right there. It's pretty much all busted back to where we're gonna be taking this to. This is level 10 plumbing right here, folks. Ain't nothing about this. Nothing about this easy. All right, we're back to test. Now we got water built up down here. Don't mind that, don't mind that there. We can't get rid of it. We tried to vacuum all the water out. But here is our new sewer line. And we're looking for leaks. I'm gonna tell you right now, this was a, this was a bitch. Uh, this was a bitch. So here's what we did. We built a new clean out down here that we're gonna dig up to here. And then we've always had some water back there. That water down there, we just can't get it out. We tried to vacuum everything out before we started, but I'm not seeing anything moving in terms of, you know, a, a noticeable sprung leak here. And then over there, neither as well. I think we got her, man. So something's still going on in this area right here. We don't know what that is. Uh, could be the water line is messed up back there somewhere. But for the time being, um, let me tell you something, hooking all this shit up. Hey, this warrant underneath of here, man, this shit won't no, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this was level 10 plumbing right here. Level 10. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Good job, man. Good job. Whew. You got it, buddy. Hell yeah. Shit running for a little while, any dirt or anything in there, you know, clean it out. 
Let it run for a little while. Oh, and by the way, let me show you all this too real quick. Uh, I'm going to make a necklace out of this, this dookie log. <laughs> that was one of a few different types of buildups that we saw inside of the plumbing. One fifty-two in the afternoon. Why is my phone GPS trying to say that I want to go to China Guard, China Ocean? I don't know that I've ever been there. Never even heard of it. Oh, careful. Ooh, that's tight. Well, I want to give a really special shout out to uh, my buddy Michael, to Richard, um, all plumbers. Richard, I'm just meeting, and Michael, I've been knowing. Uh, my top guy, Gene, myself. Uh, this has been nothing short of an ordeal that has, well, it actually all started last Friday, so it's been a solid seven days we've been dealing with this situation. And we have finally gotten to the point of seeing some light at the end of the tunnel the the sewer line is fixed and now all that's left is the water line that we hit i'm gonna be honest i did not think we were going to be able to to do this i keep saying this is level 10 plumbing and it it's absolutely been that and for anybody to say that it's not uh, the obstacles that we dealt with dealing with this were tremendous so, very satisfying knowing that we've done as much as we've done. Now, the crazy thing is, is let's talk about these quotes. We got a quote for $5,800, I mean, to replace just the water line. And then we got a quote for $7,800, 7900 something like that to replace 20 feet of sewer line, 20 feet of water line. And that's really not that bad of a price, to be honest. I thought that that was going to be way more. but And they do offer financing. That particular company does. Uh, but I asked my wife to ask them how much for just the water line. Because I was assuming that we would have the sewer line rectified by then. And they didn't want to do it without doing the sewer line. But... And they also said that it was going to be at least a week before they could get to it. I don't want my shit to be opened up for that much longer. I'm ready to start filling this shit back in. This was every bit of a $12,000 job starting off. For the sewer line, probably that. Then tack in the water line. Woo, joint probably got to 20000 But I can't tell you how proud I am of myself and how grateful I am for the people who have been offering assistance and guidance and information and helping to answer questions. I've learned a lot on this. And as a matter of fact, I'm actually ready to go start me a little sewer and drainage company. I didn't mind playing in the dookie. It smells like money, I can imagine. And that is a job where Price don't even, I mean, price does matter, but the sky's the limit with the price because it's an absolute necessity, unlike painting, unlike superficial things. Plumbing, electrical, HVAC, hey, those are three trades that you absolutely can't live without. Gotta have water, gotta have electricity, gotta have AC. You ain't got any of those, you're gonna do whatever you gotta do in an effort to get it. I wouldn't mind being a plumber. As back-breaking as this work has been, I've actually enjoyed it. 